Okay, we're in the town of Kingston at the 325th anniversary, and uh, one of our uh, residents here, can you tell me your name? Nina Reef Dietzik. I say Reef because if anybody's watching this that knows the name, uh, they'll know who I am. And uh, how long have you lived in the town of Kingston? Well, we moved here when I was uh, five years old, and uh, I lived here. I moved out in uh, uh, 1960. I okay. got married, had children, five children, and uh, because of where my husband worked in Bridgeport, we moved to Milford, Connecticut. Okay, can you tell me um, what you remember about the, um, uh, like what, what, was, what was the town of Kingston like 50 years ago? Oh Lord, <laughs> what can I say? Well, it certainly built up some, and uh, there was a one room schoolhouse right in back of me, and that's where I went, eight years of school. And then I had five children, and my first two children, two girls, Donna and Joanne, went to the school. So, one room schoolhouse. What's your earliest memory of the town of Kingston? Oh, now you're getting me. Uh, oh, Lord. Well, <coughs> my father retired at an early age from Yonkers, New York, and uh, he was tired of working in the same place uh, at uh, Alexander Smith Carpet Shop. So he said he was inside long enough and he wanted to go outside. So this is why he bought the property here. And right over there, as I say, was my house and he built a little general store. And uh, my house in the summertime had borders. That's what my mother did. Tell me, is the uh, town of Kingston uh, just as nice a place to live as it used to be? Would you still live here today? Oh, I think so, sure, why not? I love the country. Tell me, um, do you remember um, Back when uh, there was a railroad in the city of Kingston, and uh... uh vaguely, vaguely, I can't say too much about that. Okay. And uh, what's uh, what's what's your fondest memory of this town, of living up here in town? <laughs> I, I don't know. I I I think I think it was the the people. The people were just beautiful people, and everyone was everybody's friend. And I remember on, a, on a election day for the supervisor, my house was always kind of head, headquarters for people to come in and out when they, went and hung, when they were hungry. And the woman, Hazel Burton, who lived over that way, she brought me the chicken and I made chicken soup. Now, if anybody's interested in that, <laughs> that's what I remember. Okay, and um, can you just um, spell your name for me? Because when you said it, I think it's hard to... Um, okay, spell. my maiden name was Reef. R-E-I-F-F. -F. And now my marriage name is Dietzik. D C I E D C I C. Okay, and um, tell me your first name again. Mita, M E T A. Okay, so that must have been hard to spell your whole life, right? <laughs> Did everyone always ask you that question? No. Can you spell that? I was, I could always spell it, but when the teachers, when I first got in the classes and the pe teachers, they would always say Meta, and oh, I hated that. It's Mita. And you graduated Kingston High School? Kingston High School, 1941. Whoopee. <laughs> Just in time for World War II. Yeah, 
Yes, it was. I remember that so well, too. What do you remember about President Roosevelt? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, <clears throat> my, my memory took a vacation. Uh, he was a good president. And, uh, of course, he was in a wheelchair. But he made his rounds wherever he was needed, he went. And uh, I think he did a good job for the country. He was a local guy, so was it a big deal back then to have someone from High oh, Park? Oh, you better believe it. High Park? Yes. And were, what was, it, was you or anyone in your family ever like town supervisor here? I haven't been around so long? Uh, yeah, I had two brothers that uh, went to, well, my, one, my youngest brother went to this school here. And my other brother uh, went to, when we came here, he went to high school in uh, Kingston High. And he graduated from there way, way back in 1928. Um, now, how, how many members of your family still live in this town? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Well, who's here today from your family? That's my daughter Donna, uh -huh. and my daughter Joanne. Okay. And my son. Oh, my son is sitting back there. Where does everyone live now? Uh, Donna lives in Florida, and I have a boy, a son, and a daughter in California. And Joanne and Bobby live in Milford, near me, Connecticut. Okay. And you all came out just for this anniversary? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't miss it. All right. I was anxious to know if I'd see anybody that I, you know, knew years ago. And I met a few people which just topped off the day. It was, it was so good to see these people. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mita. You're welcome. Oh, I'll uh, talk to one of your um, oh, daughters. If I can get your email, I could send you copies of all this. Oh, yeah, that would be great. So, um, I don't know how you want to do it. Uh, do you have a paper? I can write it. Oh, you report it with a piece of paper? Yeah, I can report it with a piece they don't, of paper. They don't provide us with office materials. Wait, do you have any paper? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was Just great. Right? Thank you. That was good. So is that going to be on TV or something? Well, Mid-Hudson News is well, a online...